Joinville. Uh, quick catch up on what's been happening uh, as we finished last season. Um, I'll quickly show you. Um, last few games of season we had a great run to be honest. Um, Seasons. Um, apart from the last two games, I uh, was here. That game we beat Athletic Mineral 2-0. Um, Lucio Arnold um, and Victor Long Cole did a brilliant result against Corinthians 1-1. Carlos Rodriguez, the de de defender, uh, don't know if I two poor games so that finished off the season but well, good news as the winners of this Copa do Brasilia which is Santos was already in the uh, Copa Libertadores as that's where they finished in the league it actually meant we finished in Copper Sud America, Sud American, um, first round. So we actually qualified for that in our first season, which is a major achievement. Joinville, who we were only expected to avoid relegation. As you can see, if we started, we've got their first um, start of the season going. Um, we played a quick friendly at the beginning against Govas, beat them 2 0. Um, on goal, um, Marino. And um, before I start going through these, I'll quickly show you through a um, transfers. There's quite a few. Uh, um, we'll let, uh, we'll let a lot of players score because we wanted to rebuild. You see, Juninho um, is on loan to Aruca in Portugal, and we are getting 2.5k a month and his um, wage is being paid for, which is going to improve him, as you can see, it's very good, uh, a lot of players out on loan, um, may, may certainly loan players, but I'll show you them in a minute, they are very good players, uh, so we signed Z Raphael on a permanent deal for 19,500k, that is a fantastic deal. And now uh, we signed Victor E. Steves, who's gone out on loan, 17 year old Brazilian, uh, five star potential all around good player. Then we signed, obviously, Lamo Fiore. If you've been watching this um, series, you know all about him. We currently not playing with wingers, so he's just sat on the bench. He does have a couple of games now and again. Um, we signed Alex Brosk. From Sydney FC for 1.5k, which is quite cheap. He is 34 years old, and he, um, to be honest, it was a bad signing because he um, is injured for uh, how long is he injured for? Six to seven months. So straight away he got injured. Um, and Jose Lopez did now. This is the, the signing of. This, this um, the joint bill. He's a 18-year-old Paraguayan. He's currently away on the uh, under 20s uh, with Paraguay. And look at this. He's five-star potential. He's 14 dribbling, 15 finishing, 14 heading. His jumping range is not very good, but acceleration 15, pace 12, natural fitness 15, stamina 14. He is going to be an absolute brilliant player. Um, and it cost us 235000 which is quite a lot of money, but hopefully it can come good for us. Then we, play, then we paid um, 60k for and son Frank. He's a midfielder, 15 years old, and of five star potential. Just going in the reserve team, he's been loaned out, as you can see, as, as uh, Victor, he steves. Just getting loaned out to get them higher stars for next season. 
as long as we can have a good season here, we'll stay. And then we signed Luis Gustavo. It's not the Luis Gustavo from Wilder Bremen. Um, all round decent player, I think, for the price we got him for. Uh, 31,500. He's 24 years old. Uh, he's already worth triple what we paid today enough. So I think that's going to be a very good signing for us. Um, we'll look back at the schedule. Uh, played the first game against uh, Marcelo Diaz. We beat them 5 0 in the Santa Catarina State Opening Championship. Um, Eddie Ophiel getting a double, Luciano getting a double, um, and Cadu getting one, and also Louis, uh, Lamortiori on his debut, he got two assists, which was fantastic. And then we played Metropolitano SC, beat them 4 0, uh, Luciano, two penalties, and another goal, two goals within two minute, within a minute, giving me sat trick, and Cadu again. Popping up, he's got this knack, knack of popping up. He's a central defensive midfielder, and that's where he plays. But he does score goals. He's not our first choice um, central defensive midfielder, but he can do the job. Then we changed the team around because we had a thing, a thing in Muse in a, a South Manila's real group stage, uh, which is more important as there's only less games. So we changed the team around, we give a lot of the youngsters a game. Vic D. Steves on his debut, he scored two goals. One to save the match was in the 90th minute, which was fantastic. Um, not too bothered about the result, as it was the young players playing. Um, then we went to think, play against Fingy Muse, and Lucia, Louis Arsano again scoring a goal. And then Bruno Alves on goal last minute. Not sorry, not last minute, on sixty seventh minute. Made sure that we come away with the three points in that. I'll quickly show you the standings. But top after three games is on this one, and that's what we're playing today against the uh, Inter de Laggies. Um currently top in the other group what we're playing at the moment. Uh, one win. So looking good so far in our first full season we've only just got started so when that actual season isn't started because that's CVA um, but so we're just going to carry on with the same team we'll put Carlos Alberto on there that's fucking hell like that. And I think that's how we're going to start with um, selling them to, he's going for now uh, 50k to China. I'm looking to try and sell him um, to get him some money back up. He just doesn't want to go to be honest. He's on £5,000, £600,000. No one really wants to take him. Um, I've been Looking, um, we should be looking at trying to control the matches against these um, low division teams. As um, I was looking at this uh, Brazilian Santa Catarina State Championship, um, if you win it, the actual whole thing, you get you qualify for Series uh, Series C, but. Obviously, we are already in Syria, uh, so I think it's just more for the um, lesser teams, to be honest. But obviously, good at your game, seriously. Anything we can win, we want to win it. The more titles we get, the more cuts we get, the better. We're on six already. Looking to gonna make it more with Joinville before we move on to somewhere else. But this is gonna be a good challenge in Brazil. Um I think with one full season we should be able to um 
I'm hoping we can get get into the top half this year. Uh, it's going to be very difficult, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of good teams in Brazil, like Corinthians, um, São Paulo, Santos. Lots of very good teams. So it's going to be difficult to get into the top half. But hopefully, the new signings that we've brought in, um, the formation we're playing is not it does actually work very well against some teams as they um, they come to attack and we just counter them. Uh, I'm going to try and look at getting another defender in because a lot of the my best centre back is actually injured, apart from the other one. Uh, he's not too bad, one thing. He's a decent all round, really. Uh -huh. We've got Fertile right here, uh, Boschow, that's a runny. Not support ball in. And the goalkeeper claims it. Uh, it's going to be cleared away. And so, and so Ruggers to Ronnie to Z Raphael. Uh, Z Raphael. Raphael. Oh, good effort. Gets it on target. Um, wasn't worth a highlight, really, I wouldn't say. Uh, 30 minutes gone. We're not really creating anything spectacular at the moment. Creating chances, so not good chances, but having shots. They're not having many shots, so that's a positive. Maybe look to go attacking. The reason why I don't start attacking against them is because for some reason um, in Brazil they do get. Um, each year, the vote for the president of the club. Uh, the same president stayed in, so I thought everything was going to say the same, but no. A couple of board members left, which meant a new board member came in, and he said, I want you to play defensive football, I want you to sign young players for the first team. I'm like, no, I didn't sign up for that, but you can't actually say no. Um, so, you can't really do much about it. I'm going to say a problem for please. We should be beating these. We need to be, we look fired up. So, come on, let's get this second half on the way. Let's get a, let's get a goal in. Um, Louis Arno, he's only put 26.4, but he's been fantastic so far. So, hopefully, we can get him on the ball. I might have a look at him, um, give it a couple of minutes. See if we can get any highlights. If we can't, I'm going to have to change it around. Probably been loose. I don't know if uh, Carlos Alberto or Z Rafael. Um, because it's just not working, I don't think. It's not working. So, what we'll do is we don't want to go on substitutions, so we want to go on tactics. Um, we can bring. Um, running completely. Yeah, sorry. We have failed to stay in the middle. I'm going to bring one more to the other. I'm going to go ahead and inside forward. Um, bring Naldo on. Uh, one, two. Put them as it on command. Confirm the changes. See, no, sorry, we don't want to confirm them yet. The instructions. Play uh, well. Play fairly wide. Look to exploit the wings. 25, 35 minutes to go. Come on, boys. Let's see if they can change anything. Hopefully, it can. Hopefully, it will. Give us some width and we'll look to exploit that now. Because uh, most teams do play quite narrow, so. It's just in the formation, they're playing a 4 2 2 2. Um, we're having a few more shots, we've got a highlight here. No, no, no. To Ronnie, he's got on this right wing. Ronnie, can he take his money on? Give it to Balsal. Uh, Balchow. To Luis Gustavo. 
Pojď se to opakal, to bych počal. Dříve fial, finishes a fiskvěrkou, season. Je to on fire for the end of last season. I thought this season off fantastically. One nil up. Just what we needed. That bit of width, I think, might have opened the game up a bit for us. Uh, as you said, the cold had come from the bottom side, and that's what we um, was lacking for the first 65 minutes of the game. We've got another highlight, Hernandez to Ronnie, comes out to T Raphael, to Luciano, to Ronnie, to Lambo to Yore. Go on, Lambo to Yore, get his first goal for Joey Mill. Um, Lamont Tiore, what a signing he could burn out today. He gets his first goal for the club. It was a substitution that turned out to be. Uh, look at making another substitution. Maybe bring it and get off a Polino. I'm glad Lamont tiore has got his first goal for the club. Maybe now we might start kicking on. Um, he did get two assists in his first game, so that's quite good to see. Um, at the moment, 2 0 victory should see us stay top of the league. Um, it wasn't really a little bit of free kick, it cleared away. It wasn't an important game, I just wanted to get, give you a chance to catch up, up to date. I didn't want to get too far into the season and then have to bring you a very long episode to keep you up to date. I've got to keep them nice and short. Um, so we've won here today. It keeps us top of the table um, by two points. As you can see there, a clean sheet by Alexandru Kajuru. I'm sure the goalkeeper now has played 360 minutes. Consecutive minutes for Jane Bill without conceding, which is very, very pleasing. That's four games in a row without conceding. So, I'll hopefully, we'll keep it up. We're playing bottom of the league next anyway. Um, so, yeah. We'll just. Apparently, it was a great success. Um, so, everything looking well and good at the start of the season. Um, as I said, I'm going to bring it back to them two, um, definitely. But I'll probably bring it back to maybe America MG game, possibly. Um, Happy game, I don't know yet. We'll see where we come up to, we'll see it as we run. Um, obviously, there could be some more games here. It's in the final or whatever it is, the finals of this, if we can get through. Um, you never know um, what can happen. But yeah, finances of the club. Uh, they're up a bit. We're on a loss at the moment, only due to the um, transfers that we've just made because Lewis with Darbo Hazlitch would just come in. Um, but apart from that, if we didn't have that, uh, it won't be too bad really. It'd be right about level if you can look. Um, look at it, if you can see, we've got 109 wage budget but we're only spending 66. So that's something. Um, what can we talk? What can we say? You know, have a quick look at my profile. We're currently studying for another um, coaching badge now. Uh, studying for the Continental Sea license. I didn't want to do them all together. I wanted to spread them out. Uh, I thought that's more realistic. Our reputation now is 20% one star. Um, five, 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 five. Technical rule six. Um, I've been told. If we want to get this working with youngsters up, the way to do that is um, actually managing 
under 20 teams, not one day teams, teams, as in like, I don't know, um, Paraguay under 20s, Brazil under 20s, stuff like that. Apparently that gets you working with youngsters up. Um, so maybe down in the future of this se this series we might have a look at that. But for, uh, for now, um, as you can see, we've played under 53 games, won 93, drawn 30, lost 30, and win percentage is 6%. I'm very pleased. Um, we're fluent in French and English. Um, we've got basic Portuguese, so that's something we're learning something new every day. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to give you an update on this on the team, see what we're up to, uh, um, and that's it for today. Thank you for watching. If you watched this episode, please smash that like button, and if you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I am going to make a new save possibly in the next couple of days uh, anything you want to see let me know I'll start that save but I'm just having a think of what challenges we can make ourselves um, or just have a nice easy relaxing save where we can just do what we want to do but this save is definitely going to carry on so please smash that subscribe button and the like button. Thank you very much. Bye bye.